Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be cutting open this Apple AirPod charging case to see what's inside. Now before I cut this open, let's take a closer look at this case. Right here, you can see where each one of the AirPods would go. Let me put a light on make it easier to see the bottom. If you look down each one of those tubes, you can see a brass contact, or it's actually a gold-plated contact in the left one as well as the right one. And there's a lot of magnets used in this. Right over here, there's a magnet for the cover. There's one here. Nothing in the middle, but right over here is a very strong one. And what that does, it pulls the AirPod down to ensure very good contact is being made with the two pins at the bottom. Now if you look at the AirPod itself where the two pins would touch, you can see right over here there's a metal ring and that ring is cut in half. There's a piece of plastic between and that separates one side from the other. So each half of that ring makes contact with the pins inside these tubes. Now there's magnets on the top as well. There's one here, another one there, there's a weaker one in the middle, another one there, and there. The way this was put together at the factory, this entire area all the way around, there's a very tight seal. This was pushed in. So what I'm going to have to do to show you what's inside, I'm going to take a Dremel with a cutoff wheel and I cut it about a quarter of an inch in, go all the way around, and we should be able to hold it right here and pull it out. Now there is another version of this. Let me close this. Now this one has the lightning port, but the newer versions also have wireless charging. So when you place the AirPods inside this case, you can charge it using the lightning connector, or you can use one of these, a wireless charger or a mat. You place it on top, and then you would see a power indicator light come on, indicating that charging is taking place. The way these work, it's very simple. Inside the base, you have a coil of wire that has current pulsing through it. And inside the unit, there's another coil of wire that picks up the pulses from the sending coil. And that's how the electricity goes from this unit here into the AirPod case. In this short clip right here, you can see a wireless charger that I made years back on my channel. It operates the same way. All right, let's take this outside and cut it open. Side. You can see it's separated on that ring, like I mentioned earlier. I don't know if that whole ring is going to come off clean. Alright, I see the neodymium magnets in there. That's good. Okay. Let me carefully remove everything from inside, and then I'll lay it out here, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, here it is all cleaned up. Let me just say there's no way that they're going to be repairing these if yours ever breaks and it's under warranty. There's only two pieces they can really swap out. The compartment for the AirPods can be popped out. You could desolder these four pins right here and install a new compartment. And the hinge on this door can be removed. So if you have a bad door, they'll probably change that out as well. Everything else in here is epoxied and glued in. So there's nothing in here to service. They would more than likely just throw it right in the trash. Over here, you can see all the magnets, the neodymiums. Let me get a better angle here. Three here. One there, one in the back. Just like I said, each corner has one. Three along the top. And if you look at the cover right here, there's a magnet right there. 
and tuck down in this little opening there's a magnet grabbing the blade of the exacto knife and the same right here there's another magnet so each corner and in the center there's a battery in here it's a lithium ion and I'm going to give you a close-up of all this under magnification right here's a close-up of the battery for the specifications The charging case that you're looking at right here was damaged by water and you can see some of that damage where the arrows are pointing. Here's a look at all the pins inside the lightning port. Now let's take a closer look at some of those surface mounted components under magnification. And right here you can see the LED, it's very tiny. It's only about a half of a millimeter in diameter. And there's another component right over here. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Apple AirPod charging case teardown. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and look over my extensive video playlist for other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.